writers, directors of the film, the B movie, talk about this creative process. I mean, it's a four year long journey. How do you guys go in every day motivated to get this done? Well, it's our job. <laughs> no, I mean, I think uh, we're both uh, huge fans of cinema and animation, and we, which is what we love doing. So it's not that difficult when you have to go into work with Jerry Seinfeld and, have, and make people laugh. So it's quite a lot of fun, really. And uh, the film's such a great roller coaster ride. There's lots of visceral action, and um, as well as having, having a good laugh, it's not that like, difficult to go in every day. Well, and talk about, too, how when you're going into work with a cast and a crew, you know, the comedic geniuses of Jerry Seinfeld and Chris Rock and Megan Mullally, how do you get to work? How do you keep a straight face? Well, that one of our uh, jobs is trying to keep a lid on Jerry sometimes in the recording session because he's the biggest laugher of all. Yes. Yeah, he ends up on the floor. <laughs> we have to pick him up off the floor. Say, no, please stop laughing. We can't hear Patrick Warburton. We can't hear Chris Rock. So it'll be a well, we want time. this take. Yeah, we want the take. Don't, we don't, can't have your laughter through the middle of the take. Yeah. Well, I heard that the concept for the, the title was actually developed before the concept itself, So, and which is normally a backwards part of the process. So how do you come up with a movie based solely on a title? Well, yeah, well, it came from Jerry. The title came from Jerry when he was having uh, a dinner with Steven Spielberg. He was very excited, and there was this lulling conversation. And he just said, uh, what about a movie about bees called Bee Movie? And Stephen goes, it's a great idea. And he's, <laughs> I was just joking. I, uh, and Stephen got on the phone to Jeffrey Katzenberg at DreamWorks, and then before he knew it, we were making a movie. So uh, J Jerry worked on the script for about nine months before we got involved, and then uh, they approved the script. And then about three and a half years ago, Stephen and I got involved in, in making the movie. But the big hook into the story was the idea that Barry finds out that the humans are stealing the honey, and he's going to sue them to get it back. So talk to me, too. I mean, with the success of previous animated films like Shrek and those others, how you know that, that's a pretty high standard. That's a pretty high bar. How do you guys go in with making it as popular, but also putting your unique stamp on a film like this? I think um, we're very lucky in having a unique point of view, comedic senses from Jerry, and that's one of the advantages we have. We have someone like him writing for the movie, and what he does is um, observe all the idiosyncrasies of our society, and it's perfect to channel through the eyes of a little bee. So I think we're very lucky with that. Yeah, I think I think Simon's exactly right. The big thing that we have here that differentiates itself from other uh, animated movies is that we have Jerry Seinfeld and his unique point of view. And as you're helping to write and direct this, does it make it a lot easier when you have an ensemble cast and people with so much experience and, and such great names in the business? Does that make your job easier? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think what makes it easier when you have someone like Jerry they can act against and we had, normally with animated movies, you record one voice six months before the other person, they're in the same conversation. And what we had the advantage of was Jerry was there the entire time, so he was acting directly opposite Rene, so they're in the same scene. And you can feel that with the movies, all the conversational pieces you can have, and it's fantastic, because he gets that lovely ping pong of performance. And we had that with Chris Rock, and Patrick Warburton, and Matthew Broderick, and then they start ad-libbing, and then you get the gold that you're looking for. And talk to me too, I mean, we're from the University of Michigan. Why are college students going to want to go out and see this film? Well, it, we appeal to all segments of the uh, population, and I think the college kids are going to love the kind of hip sensibilities of Jerry Seinfeld. All right, well, thank you gentlemen so much. It's been an extreme pleasure, and good thank luck with your film. Thanks very much.